Hi, in this video I'd like to talk about ectopic pregnancies and how we can prevent them from happening again. So many patients who have a history of ectopic pregnancies, you'll notice that they happen repeatedly and they need to go for treatment. They cannot preserve the pregnancy, it ends up with the pregnancy loss. Sometimes they also end up losing a fallopian tube because common management for ectopic pregnancy is the directly removing the entire fallopian tube. So it decreases your fertility rate by 50% and then if you have, it happens again, you lose another fallopian tube and then you will need to go for IVF and that also cannot guarantee success because IVF success rate is only 20 to 25%. That's why Anta Hospital is very um, uh, emphasizing the importance of prevention of ectopic pregnancies. If it happens one time, we need to get it treated and prevent it from happening again. So ectopic pregnancies are pregnancies where the embryo is implanted outside of the uterine cavity. So normally it should implant anywhere here, but it's implanted outside the fallopian tubes in the pelvic cavity, on the cervix, etc. It can implant itself in many places. 90% of ectopic pregnancies happen in the fallopian tube. So if it's a very endangering situation, a life-threatening situation, discovered too late where there is bleeding already happening because of the fallopian tube rupture. Management is that we need to do a medical abortion. And then most doctors will actually remove the entire fallopian tube. Now we don't do that here at the hospital. And the hospital actually has a very highly specialized uh, treatment method for actually transplanting the embryo from the fallopian tube back into the endometrium. This is a very specialized treatment that is only available at here at the hospital because it really depends on experience and skill. So what ex exactly causes the ectopic pregnancies and how can we prevent them from happening? So when you treat an ectopic pregnancy, at the same time your doctors need to actually, during the surgery itself, whether it's 3D laparoscopy or hysteroscopy, they will need to look out for the actual cause, which they can observe using surgery. There are three factors that we want to look at. First factor is a uterine factor. Second factor is a fallopian tube factor. Third factor is the pelvic cavity factor. So the uterine factors include, for example, there's a presence of some polyps, some fibroids, some adenomyosis lesions within the uterine cavity causing this ectopic pregnancy. At the same time, when you remove the pregnancy or preserve the pregnancy, you want to treat these conditions. That way we can prevent it from happening again. Another common cause for under uterine factor is septic uterus or naive uterus. Uh, these two forms of uterine malformation is very commonly associated with ectopic pregnancies and can be treated so that ectopic pregnancies do not repeat. Secondly is fallopian tube factor. For example, if the fallopian tube has been blocked, the fallopian tube has adhesions or it's stick together or swollen, something's affecting its ability function causing this ectopic pregnancy, it should be also treated at the same time during management. Lastly is pelvic cavity. So during the surgery, the surgeon needs to be out looking out for any factors, for example, is there any inflammation in the pelvic cavity? Is there any uh, pelvic adhesions that might have caused the ectopic pregnancy? Any lesions present? All of these can be spotted if the surgeon is actually skilled enough and experienced enough. So. Not only do we need to treat the ectopic pregnancy, we need to treat the underlying causes. That is the only way to prevent it from happening. So Ante Hospital offers a full contractual treatment for patients suffering from ectopic pregnancy because it's entirely preventable. IVF is not your only option because at the end of the day, if you still do go for IVF, let's say you do have a uterine factor, the pregnancy will still end in a miscarriage because the uterine factor has not been treated. So we all want to strive for natural full-term pregnancies, which is why treatment for underlying causes is very important. Visit our website via the link above and also leave me a comment down below.